17 on a last minute Kilmer TD pass with his nose broken. <laughs> and the Giants hopes then went downhill. They lost nine straight. Arnsparger lost his job. Bill Kilmer swings it out. That's off by George Martin. George Martin is on his way. George That's Martin for the touchdown. There's the break that the young Giants might want. Billy Kilmer. Quick screen right, threw it right into the hands of George Martin. And Billy knew it was seven. He didn't even chase him. George Martin, a 245-pound tackle. A defensive end, rather, and he has done what all linemen dream of doing. He's just gathered one in and run it into the end zone. The three-year veteran out of the University of Oregon smelled the play from the start. Now he's the defensive end, and usually on a pass, he's going to be rushing the passer. But he smelled the screen. Johnny Riggins is out in the flat. Here comes the pass. And look at the beautiful interception by George Martin at the 29, and he walks in. Yes, the conversion attempt is Donello puts it, and it's good. Joe Donello has added the extra point. And so now it is the Giants who have drawn first blood. Four minutes, 40 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Giants seven, Redskins nothing. Marshall. Bob Brunet picked up the first down on the last carry, so it is first and 10. Mendenhall made the tackle. Redskins have the ball at midfield. Got upsets in the making today early. Kilmer. John Mendenhall arrived just in time. Troy Archer was right there. A great pass rush on Kilmer. He had no shot here. He got Archer way on the outside in a defensive tackle. He's listed, and nobody's picking him up. Let's take an end zone shot here. Mendenhall just beats everybody in the middle. He beat the center, Lenny House. It'll be second out and 15 at the 45. Mendenhall. Six-year veteran from Gambling, 255-pounder. Kilmer. This time it's Jack Gregory. Jack Gregory, number 81. Oh, and that defensive line has come to life. Jack Gregory led the NFL in sacks in 1972 with 21. He came from Cleveland, number one draft choice. A lot of people say they relate to him uh, like Jack Youngblood, the great defensive end with the Los Angeles Rams. From the end zone, let's pick him up. He's going to come left of your screen. Mike Thomas looks to the inside and does not get back enough to pick up. And Gregory collars Kilmer. 13, Buffalo, nothing. Goldstein. Up Swanson goes low, and it is. Ed Marshall, Ed Marshall. And he is at the eight yard line. Giants first and goal at the eight. Two and a half minutes left to play in the game. The second year man from Cameron State, six foot five, 200 pounds. He caught the deflection. This pass should have been intercepted. He was going for the home run from the end zone. Goldstein, a little stunt up front by the Washington defense. The Giants pick it up. Good strong arm here, but it's just a little bit underthrown. That's Kenny Houston off his left hand and a one-handed catch by Eddie Marshall, and the ball is inside the 10. Rutherford, New Jersey, and the Giants have the ball first and goal at the eight-yard line of the Redskins. The Redskins are leading by seven points. Hammond and Zaka are the running backs in there for Goldstein. Ed Marshall, who just caught that pass, is observing his birthday today. Two minutes left to play. Goldstein's got it, wide and open. there he is, wide open, touchdown! Gary Shirk, Gary Shirk took it for the touchdown. Perfect execution, bootlegged out there by Goldstein. And I'm sure the play was called from the sideline. Boy, the NFL at its best right here on CBS. Stick around, folks. Remember, we could go into sudden death. It'll be a conversion attempt. Here it is, play action, and the tight end, Gary Shirk, is wide open. Touchdown. Larry Mallory is in the hole. Joe Donello will attempt the conversion, which, if good, will tie the score. It's down, it's up, it's good. And the score is tied. With one minute, 56 seconds left to play, the score is tied. The Giants, 17, and the Redskins, 17. Oh, Herboy. 
four plays, 74 yards. At their own 20. We couldn't have had a better opening game for us, could we, Lance? Thomas, and there it is. Troy Archer, number 77, caused that fumble. Harry Carson got it back for New York, and they've got a shot to put it away here. One minute, 48 seconds left. The score is tied 17-17. The Giants have the ball inside the 20-yard line of the Redskins. It'll be a 30-yard field goal, and Larry Mallory will be holding. Now you might see a little psychological uh, thinking here on the part of the Redskins if they line up again to kick it. The Redskins might call a timeout to give Danello a little bit more time to think of the pressure. Danello is on the field. Three-year veteran from Washington State. Last year he had eight field goals in 21 attempts. Score is tied. 17-17. Seven seconds left to play on opening day. The Redskins and the Giants, one of the storied rivalries in the annals of professional football. Sellout crowd of more than 76,000 fans on hand. Now here come the Giants. Mallory at the 20-yard line. It'll be 30-yard attempt. Donello will attempt it. Sidewinder. It's up. Good. It's good. It is good. A 30-yard field goal, and the Giants go ahead. Three seconds on the clock. The Giants 20, and the Redskins 17. As soon as he hit the field goal, Larry Mallory, who held for it, got up and hugged Joe Danello. The whole giant bench is erupted. They're on the field congratulating Joe Danello with three seconds left. It looks like the Giants have won the opener. This stadium is a bedlam here. The Giant fans are on their feet because they saw a lead disappear. They saw the Redskins take the lead, and in other years they've seen that all too often. But they've seen the new Giants come back and regain the lead here this afternoon. Three seconds on the clock. Giants will kick off. Eddie Brown is retreating deep. Danny Bugs is on one side of him. Clarence Harmon on the other. The Redskins sideline. George Allen has never lost an opening day game. George Allen has lost only once to the Giants ever. His record against them, 14 and 1. All they got to do is cover this kick. Danello gets it down there. And now it is picked up at the 2, and the clock starts. Clock started when it was touched. The game is over. The Giants have won. It was returned to the 18-yard line. The clock started when the ball was touched at the 2-yard line. The 3 seconds ran off. And the Giants have won the opener by a score of 20 to 17. Oh, Johnny McVay, there he is in the middle of your screen. He's so happy. He's forgotten. George Allen is walking over to shake hands, but he's so ecstatic right now. I think he's forgotten. He's on his way to the dressing room. Oh, what a game for the Giants. As McVay in front of the troops as they head for the tunnel. Nobody has left this ballpark yet. They're all still here, and George Allen has sustained his first defeat ever as a head coach on opening day, talking to Kenny Houston as they walk off. Probably talking about that pass that was deflected into the hands of Ed Marshall. Could have been an interception. Houston just keeps shaking his head and hit his left hand, and Ed Marshall caught it one-handed and got it inside the 10 where they scored the next play. It was a beautiful bootleg pass from Goldstein to Shirk that scored the touchdown. Well. Game is this gone. Maybe Jerry Goldstein has arrived in this city. Well, in his first National Football League game ever, he came out a winner in a con closely contested game. Hallelujah, says the message board at Giant Stadium. So the final score here this afternoon in the season's opener, Giants 20 and the Redskins 17. <laughs>